Hello, my convicts and convict cats. Yes, it is I, the Cup Convict, bringing you guys and gals another tutorial. So, without further ado, let's get it on. And here we go. So, today I want to talk a little bit about profiles and how to add profiles. Some people have asked me and said, How do you add, add a profile to my actual controller? And some have struggled, obviously, to do so. So, I thought I'd do this quick tutorial just to show you how to do it on the unlimited controller. So first things first, open up your Revolution Unlimited or whatever your Pro Controller is. Then obviously put it into mode two if you're using PS4, mode three or PC mode, which is purple for obviously PC stuff on there. I'm going to obviously go on PlayStation. Never leave it in blue mode because blue mode is not what you need. You need to be in mode two because you won't be able to access the application without mode two anyway and click it. So what we can do now is go to what's called download and share. And here you can download or you can upload your favorite settings. So if you ever find you've got something truly phenomenal and you want to share it, by all means, feel free to do so. If you don't and you want to check out other people's, again, feel free to do so. Excuse me while I cough. Right. So. Click on download profile. Now what I've done here, I've actually signed in beforehand on www.narcongaming.com, which you can see what that is up here. I may just copy and paste this into the description so you can just instantly come to Narcon Gaming. You want to sign in, then it allow you to come here. Now what I did is I signed in beforehand and then I decide to click on profiles and it brings you automatically to the page without having to sign in just in case you have to then mess about trying to find a page afterwards. So I would probably recommend opening Google, signing to Narcon Gaming, then drop down Google, just go into the application like I did and then click on download profile so that it just brings up the correct page. So once you're here, you should get it in English, as it is EN for English. If you don't, you normally get a prompt up here somewhere and it says it can translate the French to English. You want to do that. What I also do is there's a little tick box so it'll always translate into a certain language and I tell it to always translate into English. Now sometimes you will get French still anyways. You can see it here, nom de jeu, uh, but it's all right. Most of it, obviously, as you can see here, will be in English. So choose a controller of your preference. Mine's obviously the unlimited version. You can search for games, which is what this is. So you can put in Call of Duty or Destiny, whatever game you want to look for, and then click here to sort it into order. I'm going to leave it because I did put Call of Duty, but yeah, it's only just showing one Call of Duty and not all of the Call of Duties. So I've just left it as it is on here. So. This is an important part. When you're looking through, so when you're looking through, make sure there's two things it's saying. It's got PS4 and it's got Revolution Unlimited on there as well. And then obviously you will then see all the different profiles you want for that particular controller. So as we scroll down here, you can see some of the actual settings. I've got hiccups now. God, go away. Uh, and you can see the different ones here. So there's this one for Rainbow, the best in game set DZ, 5 vertical, 30 horizontal, 55 ADS, and 40. So if you want to choose that one, as we'll use this as an example, you can choose the eye here. What this basically will do is it will actually show you the profile on its own. As you can see here, that prompt has come up. So I've said always translate French and click it by Google Translate. So definitely do that. And it'll save you time having to do it yourself each time. Oops, go back up. Behave yourself. And as you can see, the votes, the person who did the actual upload, PS4, you can share this as well. Uh, that's the description. And just click download if you want to download that profile, which is what we're going to do. Once you've downloaded it, you will get this prompt. 
and click save and that will then save it. You can then just come down here, click the little tab at the side, show in folder, and this will bring it up. Now, what you've noticed here is it's called an NACS free file. That is what you want to be looking for if you're using the Narcon Unlimited. Now, there is someone who mentioned something where you can actually change the file at the end if it is the wrong style of controller. To be honest, I won't recommend doing it because a lot of the times it will bug out because it's not compatible with that controller. So don't do that, whatever you do. I'll explain that in just a moment. So once you've got the one you want, you then want to right click, you want to copy this, you then want to go to this PC, you want to go to local disk, you want to go to profiles, x86 or x84, I think is the other one, whichever x it is, double click that, go to Narcon, you want to choose obviously the correct file, folder, whichever it is, so mine's unlimited, go to my profile, and go to the correct platform, PC or PS4, and then once you're here, just right click and paste, and it'll say, do you want to continue? Yes, I want to continue, and it will then place it in, as you can see there, on there and then if you don't like it looking like this because when you go to profiles it will say all this gobbledygook at the beginning just right click rename and then just call it whatever it is which is rainbow six profile and then press enter now what you've noticed here is each file in this area is called an NACS free file. Now, I do believe Narcon version 2 is an NACS 2 file, and the version 1, which is what I used to have, or I still have but don't use now, is the NACS file. So you know which one it is. If it's NACS with no numbers, it's version 1. NACS 2 is version 2, and NACS 3 is version free. Now, there was a guy who has stated on the site and it says, oh, you know, if you get the, the, you get the, the file you want, but it's the wrong NACS, what you can physically do is go to it and you can right click it, go to its properties, and you can actually change the NACS file to something else. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing this because it will mess up most times and it will still not come up properly. Now, I'll show you an example of someone I've downloaded just to show you, which is the Modern Warfare Remastered, even though it did come up as an NACS3 file, which is kind of weird, but maybe he's changed it himself, and that's what's caused the issue. Anyway, so once you've got that file done on here, which is a Rainbow Six, then you can close this down, go back to the application, click the back tab, then you can come here to the dots here and you can choose one and I'm going to use this one and then it's whatever you've got on here. So if you scroll down you'll notice I've got the Rainbow Six profile which is what I've named it and then click the arrow across and activate the profile so that it saves to your controller. What you can then do, if you want, is go to this area here in the middle and you can see what they've physically changed on their profile here, as you can see. So on here, it's now 66 and 33. Uh, it's put it on low sensitivity, as you can see. He's got nothing changed in regards to dead zones. Right stick, he's changed this to 65 and that to 26. Dead zone of one, so he's put a one dead zone. It is on a low sensitivity as well for the right stick. His direction pad still is on eight, but he's chosen to have X for this button, circle for this button, triangle, and square. And then L2 and R2 is put it down so it's like virtual trigger stops, so it's really, really fast for aiming and shooting. And you can get like an overview if you want to get an overview. Um, completely up to you if you want to do that. So go back, 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what happens if you choose one and you change the end to an NACS, whichever version it is. Say it's something completely wrong, it's an NACS and you've got version 3 and you change it to NACS version 3. This will happen. So if you click on the profile and then if I click on the first one, can you see what's happened? It says it's 1%. And the other one says it's 0% or 2%, sorry, 1%, 2%. It's messed up because the application doesn't understand the file you've tried to upload. And it's done the same for that, as you can see. And even these are messed up, look. Can you see how this one has gone completely outside the box? And it's over here somewhere. So whatever you do, don't do that. Don't change the NACS file. If it's something that's not compatible with your control, unfortunately it's not compatible, don't change it and try to add it onto your profile by just changing the NACS file because it just screws up the software or that profile anyway and it won't show you physically what the actual setting is that they've put in. It'll just give you some random gobbledygook and I'll knock my microphone. Sorry about that. So do not do that. And there you go. That's how you do it. It's easy as that. And like I said, if you want to share, you can just click share and share your profile. And away you go. So hopefully you enjoyed. It's just a quick tutorial just to show you how to set up the NACS file on your controller download profile. So you can try it out for yourself. And like I said, just press the little middle bit and you can see what they've physically changed on their profile. And if you like it, go back and give them a like, you know, give them a vote, vote for them. What I may do in the future is if I get any good settings, I will put some on the actual website, but I will call it Kappa and then the name of the game. So Kappa Warzone Best Settings uh, PS4 or something along those lines. And then you can go and see and check them out and download them for yourself. Obviously on my YouTube channels, wherever I do a new setting, I'll always put it on there as well. But if you do want to keep checking out and you do happen to use Narcon Gaming quite a lot, then by all means, feel free to download those profiles. I may even go and download a couple and put them up there for you to go and try out once I've done some play testing. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if new, Tap that notification bell to be notified of all my videos and you truly can be one of my convicts for the boys or convict head for ladies. And yes, it is I, the Cap Convict, signing out. And as always, I salute you, my convicts and convicts. Hopefully you enjoyed. And don't forget, like, subscribe, and bye for now.